Alright guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. Someone mentioned to me that Goresh made a thread. Um, very good hot takes. Uh, so I was like, okay, we, we could jump in. We, we could see what... Gresh has got a good head on his shoulders. Um, so I'm curious to see what Gresh has to say about like kind of like Dokkan stuff. Um, so let's just jump in. I, when I was pulling up the thread, I did see this right here. And he does... Men <laughs> like He does make a good point, right? All he sees are posts and arguments regarding individual units. This is true, right? We're on, what, 13 months of I open Twitter and people are calling <clears throat> Dokkan Fest God Goku overrated or they hate him or something like that. It's like, yeah, congratulations. You've made posts 357 regarding this matter. That's so good. All right, let's jump in. Uh, now, we did some hot take videos recently for, you know, players who had no idea what they're talking about. Um, who only experienced the game through the private server and stuff like that. So, it'd be nice to see a nice, grizzled, seasoned veteran. Let's see what Gresh has to say. Hidden potential system needs to be revamped ASAP. Yes. Uh, let's see if Gresh goes into the point I was... <clears throat> a lot of recent units having most mechanics built into their kits already. Uh, let's just pull up just a character. Um, I mean, I guess to be fair, Topo doesn't have additionals built in. But Vegeta, like Vegeta, right? Vegeta has a ton of additionals. Um, he's got crits. Like, like you, you go through a lot of kind of like modern characters, and they have so much of this stuff built in to where, you know, the builds make perfect sense. You just give them the one thing they don't have, dodge, right? And that's where a lot of my disagreements comes with a lot of people. But most of these characters, they're filled with additionals. They're filled with crits. I think this is a good example of a character like that, right? Where this character just does numerous additional attacks, and they have guaranteed crit right there at 24 key. And then, where's the additionals? It's right here. So, it's like, you're not getting value out of the hidden potential system for them, really, <clears throat> besides dodge, or giving them raw stat equips. So, what Goresh is talking about, we, we talked about this before. Um, <clears throat> they need to, like, change things. A lot of buffs from the hidden potential system... Don't feel even half as powerful as they were when the system originally dropped. That's true. I They could make it really interesting where you could... I, I mean, I don't know. I Like, a lot of times when we've talked about equips in the past, it's like equips could be a good thing where, you know, you could get, like, guard on a character, even, like, conditional guard for some point, like, like characters or something like that. Like, equips could have been a good way to kind of switch things up, but all equips basically are is just extra points for you know additional uh crit and dodge and stuff like that although the raw stat ones do tend to work pretty well okay so yeah i agree this this is a big thing that they could do this would be a very exciting um kind of like update or revamp they could do uh summon animation skip button is more badly needed than any gameplay functionality adjustment change i disagree i would say the number one thing I would like to see is a friendless update. Um, that, that is the biggest thing. I... Okay. I Like, yesterday, like, I'm using Topo. Topo is great. Topo is really powerful. But, like, it, the video I'm talking about is Cell Max. I ran out of Topo friends, like, like one second in the video. So, it's like, okay, like, I, I, I can't use Topo's team... And then all of a sudden, Topo's intro restriction became like a real problem I was battling with by using Topo on Broly's team, STR Dragon Fist team, and stuff like that. So um, I, I I need that uh, like a friend system revamp. They had done a little bit of an update to it that had, it it did it was a, a significant improvement, but then the rat bastards in this community. Uh, who, you know, are like, okay, we got to make sure to mod the game. We got to bot, like, you know, all these, like, bot accounts, right? People will go, well, not everyone has the money to summon. I don't give a fuck. Listen, you're ruining the game. It's a gotcha game. If you don't have the money to summon, I would advise, maybe don't even play, right? Like, if you have an issue with that, like, if that's your argument towards bots, which are actively ruining the game, where it's damaging the friend system to where you have all these like SR units, level one SSRs on the friends list. That is from the bastards botting. And I don't care to hear, well, not everyone has the money. Who cares? 
We're talking about the good of the game here, not like, oh my god, I must summon for this character with a bot account to scratch an itch. No, man. No, 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 no. Uh, I would be on board with a summon animation skip button, but I mean, I would say friend list update number one. Number two, box space or box update. Like, that's got to be fixed as well. I mean, that's more of a... The friend list update is something that affects everybody. So that's why I think it's most important. Like, the box space issue only affects, you know, the very top whales or the very top link leveling, like, players. A very, very small amount of players are affected by the box space stuff. So that's why friend system won. Um, <clears throat> summon animation skip button is something that would directly benefit me a lot. So, like, I, yeah, I'm on board with that. For sure. Because uh, you, if you guys have seen me summon in Legends, it's uh, like... <laughs> I basically, I don't even watch some animations, man. It's just like, all right, let's just, boop, 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 let's get out of here, man. Let's get out of here as quickly as possible. Uh, there is such a thing as too much, yeah, dude, I, I talk about this all the time. Yes, there is absolutely a thing as way too much content. Um, Dokkan's a game that's not designed to be played for hours and hours every single day. For every person who complains there's not enough content, there are probably 10 people who think there's too much. Yes, especially if you're a player who goes away for a little bit. Think of all of the new content, all the new stages, all the new events, all the new characters. Yes, I I think that right now, about like the level of content Dokkan does is good. Um, I think <clears throat> major anniversaries, yeah, let's get even more content. Like the ninth anniversary was perfect. But like the Topo celebration is pretty light, but that's fine. Not every celebration needs to introduce... 50 red zones and all different types of things. Actually, I could probably find it just a little bit faster over here. This is like the fastest loading site. Oh my god, there's so many. Uh, it's this one. It's a margarita one. All right, so let's look at content. So we have the EX missions. I mean, that that's some content. Um, you know, the, the Dokkan event is a little bit. <clears throat> we have... This This is a couple of missions added to the Harutagarn stage. I got to do a video on that still. We got the Ize area for him. Oh, we're going to get a Dragon Ball story on April 9th. See, like, there's not really that much, these in-between celebrations. And I, I do think that's okay. When is this? This is the 8th. Okay. Because I'm going to be able to, as soon as I get one in here, I'm going to have every mission in the game done again. Thank God. Finally. All right. So, sure. That was a good point. Um, too steep of a learning curve for new players in Dokkan. Opening units, detail screen, greeted by four tabs of paragraphs, transformations, conditions, links, categories... Yeah, I don't, hmm, I, I'm not even really too sure w what can improve this. That is definitely true. I Like, it's especially, like, you just the, the sheer amount of events, characters, where to summon on, the fact that this is a gotcha game, right? Like, the whole point of the game, remember, is to, to like, kind of, like, trick you into spending a lot of money to summoning for these characters. Yeah, I, I get it. Um, <clears throat> I'm not super sure what could improve a lot of this. I'll tell you this. If we just look at n a new character, uh, we could easily see it from these two wikis. So who's a character with like a decently long... Oh, you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's take a look at LRP, Love, Shu, and Mai, shall we? So let's look at their kits. So this is uh, this is the way it's displayed in-game. It, it, this is just... This is word vomit, right? Like, look at this. Y like, you can't, like, just quickly... Like, okay, like, there's one line I'm looking for. Yeah, good luck. Go find it. And, and fast. Go. Quick. Quick. Right? Like, it's it's tough. I, I, bro, like, they could update the game to have the passives displayed in this fashion. It's just, like, this is how, when I text people, I text people like this rather than like this. Because it's just, I find it, maybe, I mean, this is just a personal preference thing. I just find this much more easily digestible than just a endless paragraph right so that is something i think that could at least make things a little bit easier for players but I, I would be very curious to see what what people think they could do about this i do agree for a new player it's it's gonna be tough for sure uh collection aspect of the game will always retain more importance than the functionality of units and events um sure i, I guess i mean this is where we could kind of cycle into I can understand why a lot of people could get upset at certain, like, characters' animations not being great, right? Like, imagine if you're, like, a big fan of, like, a character, I don't know, like, 
Raditz or something. Like, there is a big Raditz fan out there, right? Legitimately. And then, like, imagine, like, Raditz's animations were just, like, complete dog shit or something like that. Like, I... So that's why, like, I, I saw Goresh literally say, Frieza may not be the best in terms of how good he is, but his animations are really strong, which he really liked, so... An official way for Dokkan to be played on PC would be a more important update than anything we've ever seen in the past. I I mean, I don't agree. More important? No. But I mean, yeah, this is great. But I think the most important update we're going to get is the Global Sync. That, in my opinion, is going to be the biggest Dokkan update we'll probably ever get. I don't even... A friend system revamp is not bigger than the Global Sync. I, I, don't, I don't think anything is, is as big as that is. As grand as that is. But... On PC, like, you know, put it in Steam or something like that would be cool. I mean, hell, put it on PlayStation and shit, right? Like, Bleach Brave Souls and, you know, some of these other games like Honkai and Genshin and stuff like that. Like, that would be cool. Support memory should only contain scenes that have absolutely no chance of being included as parts of obtainable units in the future. I disagree. I disagree. Only because they've shown us... Um, hey, let, me, let me pull it up. All right, here we go. So, here's the Vegeta's Pride support memory. This came out in, I believe, 2022 Saiyan Day. This came out along with Int Majin Vegeta, right? So, this, of course, is the scene from the anime. I mean, everyone loves Majin Vegeta. Kind of, he's got, like, really good scenes and stuff like that. People love, like, a character. Like, so, like the best part about Dragon Ball is them raging and screaming and transforming and powering up. Like, we love that shit, right? So, there's that. Then, the L.R. Bobbity character, which came out a, about a year later, um, here is the finished skill with Majin Vegeta, and we'll see that they use, like, very similar, and they use, like, the same scene. So, I mean, I don't agree. They could use some of these scenes for support memories and characters. I, I don't have an issue at all. I guess I would, I guess I'd rather just that the animations look good, although I do always prefer that they give, like, make sure, like, Dokkan Fests have, like, tight-looking animations, um, but yeah, th this is one I do disagree with, um, I'd rather they just give us both, I, but I will admit, I am the number one support memory defender, that is true. <laughs> Tier lists are near meaningless and only serve to garner attention. They provide almost no valuable information whatsoever, but are still more valuable than Legends tier list. Uh, he's absolutely correct. Yeah, yep, guess what? He is, he is, he is, this is correct. Uh, it's just a simple YouTube thing. People, like, they really love seeing, like, the, the top 10 lists and stuff like that. Um, so, let's just look at what is the most recent list that I've got saved here. It's my last Dokkan Fest TUR list. Uh, I'm going to update this probably later today. All right. This... Like, this has got no... I, I agree with Gresh. This serves basically no value. Um, and the other thing, too, is that no two people are going to completely agree. It's never going to happen. What you need to look for if you're trying to, like, you know, grade someone's list or something like that is maybe you're like, you hate Harutagarn because you hate Dodger Die characters. So maybe you would have Harutagarn at, like, eight or something like that. But, like, characters who are, like, one or two spots away, is it's really not a big deal. I do think there's a little bit of value in this type of tier list, though. Because this is kind of just giving you, like, a, I think a kind of a better gauge of how the units stack up to each other rather than 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Which is why I, I try and do both, right? Um, this, I'd argue, has a bit of value. But, like, just like the top 10, I agree. It's just I do them because it gets a lot of views. <laughs> and, you know, and then I'm able to, you know, pay bills. And, you know, then I, I put the list on Twitter. By the way, if anyone is ever curious, why do I post the tier list on Twitter at the same time the video goes live? Is because I started doing these monthly tier lists. And then people were just, you know, pulling it off of my video and tweeting it out themselves. And I was like, well, I mean, if, if people, this was before you can make money off of Twitter, I guess. But I was thinking, like, if people are going to be eating off of these posts, I'm just going to do it my damn self. So that's why I tweet that out if anyone is curious. Because if I didn't, it will be on Twitter in five seconds anyway, right? Uh, every mode in the game should serve some sort of purpose that differentiates itself from every other game mode. Little to no distinction between two modes. One should be removed or they should be combined. Um, But what's... What is... I'd like an example of this. Because, I, I mean, when I hear mode, I would think of, like, the the home screen, right? Where there's... Dragon Ball story, quest, events, Patan, like chain battle, all those types of things. 
That's actually, because Chain Battle's being permanently removed, that screen is going to be updated, huh? They're definitely going to remove that from, like, the, the home page. Let me, hold on, let me pause. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. I, the thing is, is when doing stuff like this, I like to show, not just, you know, be like, oh, you know, take my word for it. Hold on. All right, so what I was talking about is this right here. Like, when Gresh says modes, like, this is kind of what I would take away from that. Because, I mean, I don't know, like, we're not considering, like, Red Zone and Supreme Battle Spectacle modes, right? Although, I, I think that there's a very good reason why they're separate. Um, Red Zone is antagonist, and then the Supreme Battle Spectacle is, the, you know, the, the protagonist, right? So, uh, sure, sure, sure. But, I mean, I don't... Yeah, I guess maybe I'm stupid, but I'm not 100% sure what exactly Goresh is referring to with this. Um, I mean, I would say this. I do wish they would bring back original Battlefield. Like, I, that was something that is actually different. I feel like they, they pulled the plug on that way, way too early, right? There was only, it was only on JP twice, I believe. And then on Global, it was never there ever, right? Uh, more so than balance, it's way more important that each premium unit has its own form of identity. Uh, ooh, okay, uh, yeah, uh, this is where I, I, I think I would probably disagree heavily with Grish. So each unit should feel unique to use and have a play style associated with them. I feel like over the past year and a half, this has been lost. Most units come with a standard package of common abilities. I, I mean, he has good points in here, but I mean, this I think is more so just a personal preference thing. I would much rather, my kind of like idea for Dokkan Fest characters this is something I've been talking about a lot. I want them to just be like a standard good character. Let's take Frieza up for this example. And actually, we could we could grab Vegeta. I think Vegeta works for this example as well. So here's Vegeta's kit, right? Let's just focus on like his passive and stuff like that. He doesn't really have things preventing him from being, you know, who he is or what he is on like a lot of different categories we might run him, which is very relevant for missions, teams, characters, stuff like that. He does have this right here, but this is not like conducive to him being a good character, right? And then, you know, the transformation doesn't require, you know, certain characters and stuff like that. I feel like when it comes to Dokkan Fest characters and LRs, I want them to be the pillars by which you're beating the game's content with. Whereas like Frieza is the exact type of character that annoys me greatly because Frieza is one of these Dokkan fests, but villains don't have a ton of good characters. Frieza really wants to have other Big Bad Bosses characters because it gives us such buffs, but Big Bad Bosses is incredibly weak. And then Frieza himself, we have Space Traveling Warrior condition right there. We have Terrifying Conquer condition right there. We have a Pure Saiyan Enemy condition right there. That is just not... Like, th Frieza fits into what Gresh is describing. Like, Frieza is designed quite differently from a lot of these Dokkan Fest. A lot of them, you know, just kind of... Guard is pretty standard on most very good characters now, right? Look at the anniversary. Three of the four LRs just have guard, right? Gogeta, Broly, and Beast have guard. And then Game 1 and 2, they've got a ton of damage reduction built in. So that that's kind of like what Gresh is talking about with, like, standard abilities. But I... Like, I will take those just consistent good stuff over this where it's like the restrictions to me hamper my personal fun for this character. So I guess this is kind of, you know, a big personal preference type thing. Um, but I would mostly disagree, right? I, I would rather the character just be very strong, very good for the content itself than, you know, have its own identity. To me... This feels like something that maybe works a little bit better in Legends, where, like, Legends has these ultra characters that do all have, like, these unique abilities, these crazy things, right? Like, you know, UI Goku has got that, like, ridiculous lock-in, and then he's got, you know, his... I guess a lot of a lot of them do have the strike, like, you know, stoppage, right? Janemba's got that, Ultra Gohan has that, Ultra UI Goku has that. That's pretty common, but Ultras a lot of times do have their own identity. I, th this is a point that, again, I think works a lot better in Legends. Um, maybe well, Dokkan, you know, the teams are bigger too. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but sure, there's that. As a free-to-play player, there's no reason to ever summon for any villain character from a pure value standpoint. Superclass teams always have superior rosters and synergy until every villain Link set is revamped. Um, that is true. 
the last point for sure. There's just no way villains could catch up. That's why I've been saying lately, super easy eight is needed, necessary, and amazing. It doesn't matter what they do with a lot of these superclass characters, right? People, you know, are going to like, like, this version of Goku or that Gohan or something like that. They'll be excited. Super easy A is for villains. That is where, like, if they turn Physical Kid Buu into a dominant beast, if they turn Texel into a monster, that helps villains so much who really need it. But, like, the superclass characters don't. Um... The only thing, I, I mean, I'm mostly with Goresh here, but the only thing is they do spam extreme class missions, right, in a lot of the content. Um, just during the ninth anniversary, there is an extreme class mission for UI Goku. There is an extreme class mission for Beast Gohan. There is an extreme class mission for Cell Max, right? Like, y y that is such a common thing. Now, I do think summoning for villains a lot of the times is pointless, so, like, if we would just look at banners, like summoning for Frieza, like I, 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 I definitely can't recommend it. Didn't Frieza, Frieza had like one of the worst dog shit banners too, didn't he? Oh my God. Oh yeah, he did. Oh, 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 this is, this is rough. This is rough. This is rough. But yeah, like you, you summon for this and unless you're a big time whale, you truly are just shooting yourself in the foot. The types of banners you want to summon for. Yeah, Broly, Broly is a great example. This Broly banner is a perfect example. This is how you have to try and get villain characters in the game. So, you know, you, you summon for Broly, who's a villain, but, you know, do, that doesn't matter, right? It's just any Dokkan Festival or Carnival or something like that. And this is where you can get these guys. Like, Fusions and Masu's back. Cooler is aged out, but, like, you know, Cooler is around. Like, these are the types of banners. As, like, a free-to-play player or something like that, like, these are the banners you really have to summon on. Like, people don't like to be told don't summon save your stones and stuff like that but it really is the the smartest way to play so right here we have gogeta who's one of the best units in the game trunks is solid this guy is very mid uh go gohan is probably like mid or solid but then you know broly chile and lemo got their easy they're one of the best villains in the game right so saving and summoning for these big anniversary banners this is what you want to do and a lot of these banners do have villains and hero class characters, right? You're going to be able to get them on a lot of these banners. So that is what I would heavily encourage players to do. Okay. Uh, characters with the same... Th yeah, yeah, bam. Yeah, th it's time. It's time. Th this is a relic of old Dokkan. This would help a lot. Yeah, this in particular. A lot of the difficulty of Dokkan right now... I mean, as crazy as it sounds, maybe not... Well, maybe more, this is more so a Fusion Zamasu meta thing in 2023. But, like, opening rotations determine a lot. The Cell Max fight, opening rotations determine a huge a lot, a huge amount. And, like, if you get a leader plus friend unit rotation, which it really should not be possible. It, it Like, it would be better, I think, almost if, like, the friend unit was just static in, like, slot 7 or something like that. So you could always account for it would be better. Um, but as if you guys are curious, as of right now, the friend unit cannot start in slot seven. The friend unit will 100% of the time be one of the first six characters. So if you see either your leader or the friend in slot seven, you know it's your leader character, right? Um, but yeah, doing this would be huge. This is also another thing that would dramatically help out villains, by the way. Um, th this, this has very little impact, I would argue, on like Saiyan teams, super class teams. Doesn't really matter. But all this does is massively buff villain teams, right? Like, imagine if we run, we, we could just run, like, a double Fusion Zamasu rotation. You know, so we'll run his team, and then we just run double LR Tech Zamasu or some shit like that. Like, this would be a great thing. And and this, you know, people are still upset about Fusion Zamasu having the same name as the Int Fusion Zamasu. Int Fusion Zamasu is just flat out not good enough anyway, regardless. But it would still be a great update to have to where name shenanigans wouldn't really matter moving forward. I think this would be a awesome update to do. Uh, setting a trend of giving out rewards for hitting top grossing in the Apple store was a mistake. Uh, I mean, sure, sure. Don't kind of lose because we send money in the game. It's the least they could do. Yeah, I know. But uh, most gotcha games don't even like they're just like, hey, thanks. Like, they don't even, like it's, they're not even giving stuff out. I, I mean, I don't know. This is not like a point that I. I don't have, like, a strong opinion on this. Um, if anything, they give out rewards, and if they don't have box face in there, I'm mad or frustrated anyway. So, 
All right, this was good. Yeah, because we, we talked about a lot of stuff here that wasn't just like, oh, this character is so good in this event and this character is so good in that event. So this was this was definitely a good thing to go through. Um, again, I, I really would like to see uh, friend system updates and some sort of box face change. And you could add summon animation skip in there. Uh, same name linking. Those are all really big updates that I think would add a lot to the game. Uh, let me know what you guys think of Gresh's uh, uh, takes right here. Again, this is not really... I mean, I guess these are hot takes. I Like, this is certainly not, um, like, the ridiculous sort that we typically see, though, right? So, uh, let me know what you guys think, uh, and I'll go ahead and catch you guys next time.